just want to say welcome, welcome to what could be our last or temporary uh, stop to see the greatness global revival prayer meeting. And uh, I am so excited and glad that God spoke to us through the prompting of Sean and Bonnie to start this meeting uh, and not knowing what was coming up and what was ahead of us. And thank God we didn't have to rush in, in, in panic to pull this together tonight. This is one of the most key prayer meetings, I think, in my heart that we may have ever been to. I, I just felt that I feel like the Lord is going to bless everyone here in a remarkable, amazing, and very surprising dimensions in the spirit of, of grace. I really believe that. And uh, I'm so grateful that you've come to pray at this time because there are crises all around the world. Yeah. But our focus is on the supernatural opportunities that God is bringing into the earth at this time. But those of you who live in South Africa, um, you will know from firsthand experience the horror and the trauma and tragedy that's been going on for the last number of days. And uh, you've been facing it with the classic resilience of believers in Christ and joining together in the most impressive and amazing way yeah. to stand against the greatest violence that our country has ever seen in its violent history. Uh, those of you are South Africans living outside of South Africa, you will be very aware of what's going on in South Africa because you, if you're a normal human being, you will feel the same distress that Glenda and I have felt living outside of South Africa. You'll feel the pain and the sense of uh, anxiety because you have loved ones, family there, whose lives have been very clearly threatened and the potential for death for many has been very close. And uh, Glenn and I have family and friends in South Africa. It is the land of our birth, the nation that we are deeply in love with. And we have churches and friends and leaders who are showing some of the most courageous things I've ever heard about. Men standing on guard to protect their families and gateways and entrances to their towns and their cities. And if you are not a South African living outside of South Africa and you don't really know what's going on, that's okay because in about five minutes or so, uh, Ron Matthews is going to come and talk to you a little bit about some of the insights um, and in, in intelligence of what is going on yeah. and in understanding of some of the dynamics that are happening in the country. Most people would just write it off as racism. It is not, it's got almost nothing to do with racism. It's about those who are with the rule of law and those who are lawless. And it's come to a head. And we believe God's going to turn this around supernaturally and yeah. rapidly. So I, I, I just, this is the, the, the uh, kind of the um, rollout to that. I'm taking a bit of time on purpose. Uh, we are going to give a healthy time to pray for South Africa. But we will pray for other nations because you have so many nations in crisis. But they're on the edge of a precipitation to revival. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to talk just five quick things about what why prayer is so powerfully, urgently important in easy times and in difficult times. And I love what Ryan Matthews said to me this afternoon. He said, I'm in it to win. I'm in it to win it. And that's yeah. what we're about in this prayer meeting. We're in it to win it. Yeah. We're in it to pray for nations and see what God does. So let me just give you quickly five reasons why prayer is so important. Then we will instantly, when I'm finished, go into praying in the spirit for South Africa. Now, some of you, if you don't know what the details are, that doesn't matter if your mind doesn't know. The spirit of God knows better than people living in the country know yeah. what is the essential ingredients for supernatural prayer for a turnaround in South Africa into revival and a removal of corruption in areas of the government and all the stuff going on. And uh, then Ryan will share with you some of that understanding, and then we can pray with that understanding in targeting situations in South Africa with petition prayer. But we're going to go straight into intercession prayer in the spirit of praying in times, straight after I've shared these things. And then after that, 
After Ron's talk, we pray for South Africa. We're going to pray for nations. We will. I, I ask you that as we, as I, while we're praying, if you can pick up nations on your heart that need to be prayed for, then you bring that up. But I, I just want to say, in terms of prayer, I'm not announcing anything new to anybody. Oh, dear. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We, we're not announcing anything new. You know about prayer. Everyone here is here because you value prayer. So I don't want to insult you with trying to act like you don't know this. I know you know this, but I love hearing and hearing the truth because it stirs my faith up to pray more boldly. Yeah. So in the New King James Version in 1 John 5, and I'm going to read it. I don't like people reading notes when they preach. It irritates me. I don't use notes when I preach, but I'm trying to use the time effectively. Because in one hour, I believe supernaturally God's going to give us five hours value because he's going to accelerate time supernaturally. Mm -hmm. And so in 1 John 5, 14 and 15, it says, Now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything, anything according, according to his will, he hears us. He hears us. And if we know that he hears us, Whatever we ask, we know. A lot of we knows there that we have the petitions that we've asked for. So we are praying for nations tonight because God is not in the business in the new covenant in judging nations. God is in the administration of the dispensation of Abraham yeah. and the new covenant. And he, God said we'll be a blessing to the nations. God doesn't want us to bless nations. And while we're trying to bless them, He's judging them. God is not judging the nations. He is blessing the nations. And of course, we have to realize that God is going to, and he is in the business supernaturally of exposing every demonic satanic thing that tries to hinder the blessing in the nations and salvation on a massive scale in the nations. God is in the business of judging evil and dealing with evil. So far, reasons why this possibly last prayer meeting is so important. Number one, the joy of faithful prayers is that our prayer is translated always into awesome testimonies. Yeah. Number two, if our prayer doesn't move us, neither will it move God. If we do not hate what God hates, and if we do not love what God, God loves, how can our prayers move him? In the book of Hebrews, it says of Jesus that he hated iniquity and he loved righteousness. Therefore, God anointed him above his fellows. Now, Elijah, it says in James 5, was a man just like us with the same weaknesses and vulnerabilities. Yet he prayed so fervently and intensely that he changed the very weather patterns over Israel. And Elijah represents the prophetic, the appearance of the Elijah supernatural system always comes in a time where the world has run out of options, mm -hmm. where the world that has rebelled against God is now open to hear God. Unbelievers are now open to hear God in this time. And the Elijah syndrome happens over and over again throughout history. And Elijah, the system of Elijah, always appears just before revival breaks out. Yes, there are processes after Elijah and the Elishas come, but there is that Elisha, Elijah is the beginning of a supernatural in, in, intervention of God, the prophetic of Elijah. So, you know, Samuel was there, John the Baptist, and many, many others. And now today, you are a sign and a wonder of an Elijah system. And Elijah's prayers changed the weather system. Why? Because he was breaking the iniquity and the evil that had gripped Israel, that was meant to honor the living God and the only God who's created the heavens and the earth. Elijah interrupted the worship of Baal, an evil God who claimed to ride on the clouds. And God smashed that evil God through the appearance of Elijah and his prayers removed all clouds for three and a half years. Prayers change the evil that's trying to take over nations. It breaks it and turns it around for nations to be blessed by God. Amen. And then quickly, number three, 
God does nothing on this earth except in response to our prayers of faith and our decrees and declarations of faith. If all believers believe this, prayer meetings around the world would be full in the good times and in the bad times or difficult yeah. times. No condemnation there. I just tell you, we're in a larger system and you're going to see an increase as you already are of prayer going out across the earth. And it is rising in the nations like it hasn't been for quite a while. And that's not coming. Number four, the Bible says, unless the Lord builds a house, the workers labor in vain. Our prayer must be built in us by God. Prayer must be saturated by the power and presence of God that gives us a sensitivity to every nuance and every shift of the spirit. Prayer is not mechanical ritual. Yeah. Number five, prayer must always remember that our Father over and over again says to his people called by his name, be blessed, be fruitful, multiply, increase in influence in results that replenish and transform and transition every shakable thing and transform it into the unshakable substance of the kingdom of God. Prayer is not looking for temporary solutions. Prayer is looking to establish the unshakable power of God's kingdom in the nations of the earth. This type of prayer can prevail through process when necessary, but it is, but it is always immunized to delays or disappointment. True prayer, true prayer prevails because it always expects ultimately amazing results. It is never surprised by positive results, but it is deeply grateful. The true prophetic must always be by the power of true prayer. True prophetic must be the essence of every prayer meeting. Otherwise, people are wasting their breath. The true supernatural prophetic must be in prayer meetings across the earth because there's always the, the power of the prophetic is always pulling us into the increase of confident expectations of God transforming and changing nations. So, so we're going we're gonna to go straight into praying for South Africa right now, and we're going to pray in the supernaturals yeah. of a God who knows every single thing that South Africa needs right now. So, wow, what's that? That's phenomenal. We have 93 windows. That is, that's probably the best attendance. Bless all of you yes. in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for the power of the mm -hmm. blessing on everyone in this supernatural, pivotal, prophetic prayer meeting that Amen. precipitates power. Lord, I pray everyone will feel the heart of your spirit, the heart of the Father yes. for the nations of the earth. We take our eyes of ourselves and we lift them up to you, Father, mm -hmm. that the power yes. of the kingdom, that you would saturate us with an awareness of eternity that we're not living for temporary little pursuits that are empty lord we pray a new level of substance of unshakable kingdom yeah. fill the churches revival to the nations and we declare lord god a holy but beautiful healthy fear of the lord and reverence for the living god manifests across the nations and that lord god you perform signs wonders healings and miracles and bless your people and lift them up lord to be blessed and prospered yes. prosperity means uh, resources for the journey it's not about greed resources for yes. the journey that will take nations to a place where they will see the believers prospering and bold and confident so, Lord, we pray right now, Holy Spirit, rise up big within us and pray this, this in the spirit things that are mysteries to our minds, things that are beyond human knowledge. Pray for the nation of South Africa, Father, for you have embedded yes. prophetic word into the soil of that nation for centuries. Mm -hmm. And in the last decades, prophets of the prophets from around the world have prophesied South Africa is one of the most significant revival nations in the world and will cause so much uh, precipitation of revival around the world that's been prophesied, Father, over and over again. They cannot all be wrong. And that's why the devil hates this beautiful nation. But we hate the devil, we hate evil, and we love righteousness. So, Father, release your glory yes. in supernatural prayer language. I'll ask you, please, let's lean into this. 
The Holy Spirit will not grab your tongue and make you passionate. You got to lean into it, and you got to you got to you got to stir up your physical body as a living sacrifice, which is acceptable worship, and give yourself like Elijah to move yourself so that you move God. He's not reluctant. He's already moved at the cross, and he will answer these prayers yeah. very fast. So let's go. One, two, three. No, no, let's unmute. Yeah, I think we are. Right. Okay, let's unmute.
Hey John, where are you, Heather? Hey. Yeah. Um, obviously, I, I did feel like a real something of a breakthrough there, um, which surprised me because knowing the nature of the beast we're dealing with, I really expected it to be protracted longer. Um, I, I, but I think the fact that there are so many people anointed and in unity praying <laughs> that would, what would take us a month as an individual literally took minutes. And I'm not trying to just pretend. I, yeah. I didn't feel that. Um, I'm not saying everything's dealt with. I'm just saying um, if we can move on to petition prayer, and, yeah. but we want to let you, you, you pick something up. Yeah. So, yeah, I just believe that, that was amazing. I mean, it was a real push. And, you know, the fervent prayers of the righteous avail much. And fervent can be translated, um, it can be the mighty prayers of the righteous make mighty power. So, in other words, we exert with our strength the prayer then God takes that and he just multiplies it. And I believe that's what's yeah. just happened. So we really can commend the team in, in, in terms of this prayer that's been pushed out now. And I, I really do believe that God, it, it, it's the grace that must be released now. There's people that are, uh, that are discomforted, they've been traumatized, there's needs, there's lack, and that's for everybody in South Africa. We just pray that uh, the grace of God will be released, the comfort of God. And yeah. I believe that that's what God is going to release now as we pray, just like you said, in petition. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thanks so much, John and Heather. Um, I'm going to just ask Ryan and Matthews from uh, KZN. KZN, right in the center, Belita Bay, right in the center of what's happening. And it's spread across much of many parts of South Africa. Great to have you, Ryan. Thank you. You're in it to win. I love it. Uh -huh. You're in it to win it. I love it. Yeah, thanks. Thank thanks, you. Rob. Can everyone hear me? It's all clear. Well, I said I said that jokingly to Rob, I'm in it to win it, but there is one who was in it and he has won it. Amen. You know? Amen. And, uh, so a couple of things. Obviously, um, KZN is um, a major hotspot with what's transpiring in South Africa. And I do want to say it's a privilege to be a part of this. Uh, Rob, Glenda, thank you for the opportunity. Share many South Africans on this uh, that are local here can share what I'm about to say. But a couple of things as we are about to jump into specific pe uh, uh, petitionary prayer. Number one, Jesus revealed to us what it looks like to be a human that believes in the midst of crisis. Wow. And so the first thing I want to remind us of is um, nothing happens without coming into agreement uh, with the agenda and purposes that completed established the agenda and purposes of God. So mm -hmm. I say that to say, not only are we agreeing with God's eternal word in this con context, but we are wielding the prophetic promises. So when we go into prof uh, uh, petitionary prayer, Paul teaches Timothy to use the weapon of the prophetic words. And so we're yes. going to do that over our nation. Yes. So that's the first thing that I want to say. Secondly, as we pray, we must be aware. And uh, 
Everyone is agreement, in agreement with this in South Africa. This is not a race issue. Uh, this is an issue of evil ideologies intended from the pit of hell, leveraged through broken men and women uh, mm -hmm. to, to establish the thraldom of darkness. And uh, we must understand that this is not coming against a, a particular uh, a color or race or culture. Uh, we are coming against the powers of darkness, and there is a, a, a nefarious uh, um, uh, strategy of a minority in our nation that whilst it is isolated in some uh, parts uh, to, to KZN, the agenda is to bring anarchy and destabilization in South Africa. And so we, we need to pray uh, that that would, in the heavens, be pulled down, but we know that spiritual warfare is rooted in the hearts of men and women. So when we are praying, we need to be praying for those people that the the, the move of God would come upon them, that there would be repentance mm -hmm. and a transformation of their hearts, mm -hmm. that they would repent. And if they don't repent, that they would be swiftly dealt with. That's the second. I think yeah. we'd all agree. We'd rather have yeah. people repent and uh, and the like is supposed to be uh, being swiftly dealt with. That's the second thing I want to uh, make mention of. Thirdly, obviously, we have a food source issue, but there is a possibility of a food security issue, which is because of the breakdown of supply chain. There could be the inability to uh, replenish a food stores. So we need to pray specifically for that, but not just for, for food, but for key medical uh, supplies coming into the, the area. It's absolutely essential that we pray specifically into that. Another aspect, um, I'm very thankful, like those throughout KZN and other parts of the country, that uh, civilians are standing up yeah. and defending. Amen. And we are so thankful for that. What yeah. we need to pray is that it doesn't spill over into a reactionary aggression, aggression that plays yeah. directly into yeah. the hands of a minority um, to to really kind of emphasize, you see, this is black and white. This is, um, we don't want to play into that narrative, everybody. We need to pray that those like myself and many others that are standing, uh, some with firearms, some with ninja stars, some with uh, the weapon of prayer. Uh, that was a joke, by the way. No, I don't <laughs> have a ninja star. Um, <laughs> that, that people do not react and and play to the narrative it's really important but that we would stand our ground and um the other thing that we need to pray for right now i hope everyone's getting these uh, is that we need to pray that there is a launching of the deep-seated underlying resentment in south africa uh, we we are we are we celebrate 1994 but uh, friends, there is only one thing that redeems the heart, and it's the blood of Jesus by his incredible grace and Amen. mercy. That in this time, that there would be, by the grace of God, a lancing of the deep pain that is in our nation. And that God would heal yeah. in a moment of crisis the hearts of men and women. Um, yeah, yeah th there's, there's a lot of things uh, there to say, but I, I want to say this. We are trusting, yes, for a revival, um, that hearts would be one, uh, that converts would become disciples. But friends, God, the, the specific grace on us, there is a common grace in our nation. My, my goodness, it, it is incredible to see what's going on, that we would have a revival of kindness and compassion Amen. Amen. and mercy and generosity yes. and solidarity and standing together, um, uh, just an anecdote, and then I'll, I'll be done. We were standing yesterday on patrol and guard, uh, you know, middle-aged white men standing, and then this beautiful 30-year-old uh, Marari from, uh, uh, lady, uh, her name was Marari, from, from the Eastern Cape that's moved here to Belito. She said, gentlemen, can I join you? Because this is my land together. Wow. Awesome. I tell you, 
I don't know if there's anything more breathtaking than the common grace from mm -hmm. heaven landing on hearts and causing people black and white, uh, different backgrounds standing together. This is our moment. David mm -hmm. Bosch, one of the greatest South African theologians uh, to come from our land, says that the church operates best in moments of crisis. Wow. And this certainly is the, the great one of the greatest moments in our nation to see the kingdom of God come in its entirety in its beauty for the sake of our nation. So just a few, uh, a few key things, um, obvious, obviously there are many others that we could add, but that's just a handful, Rob. Uh, I did my best to keep it short. Thank you. Uh, that's so articulate and, and, and eloquently uh, communicated. Thank you so much, Ryan. You know, just again, for people who've never lived in South Africa, it's hard for you to understand that South Africa is flooded with illegal weapons like machine guns, AK-47s. Police stations were surrounded. And it was definitely a court, court, simultaneously. simultaneously coordinated attack. As Ryan said, a small group of people who've lost power in government and who want to pull off a coup, not for black people or white people or Asian people in South Africa, but for a power hungry, mad group of people who've already stolen the money of the tax people from the kitty and have taken it for themselves. And they now exposed and put in jail. And so it's triggered all the, like Ryan says, broken people and such a small minority, all the grannies and all the people in, in, in across South Africa, black, white and Asian, don't agree with this at all. It is a small minority. It is flooded with murder and destruction. We're talking about many people have been killed already. These are machine guns. And the men now hear women standing to protect their children and family. I've seen the videos. It's black, white, and Asian standing together to defend as civilians because the enemy wants the army to come in and just kill people so that they've got an excuse to take things further. And the, the army's been restrained and it's, it is appearing, but there's a lot more to it that meets the eye. Mm -hmm. This is not racism. This is a attempt to take over illegally by criminal, criminal cronies who've been part of government and have been exposed. So let's pray with passionate petitions. And I'm personally not quite sure how we do this, but I think let's take a few minutes to, to let one or two or three or four people pray and don't make them extremely long prayers, but make them passionate prayers, uh, responding to what you've heard Ryan say and things that I've said and things you picked up in the spirit when we're praying in the Holy Spirit. So please not only South Africans pray, let's have people from other nations praying as well. Okay, bless you. As we bless South Africa, we're blessing nations. So let's unmute for a moment. I think, yeah, let's unmute and let's have four or five courageous souls. Just go ahead. And, and we, no, no. It's, it's probably <laughs> close to 180 of us here. And we can all agree, as Ryan said, the prayer of agreement with heaven and with the prayer. Let's all agree. And the petitions are powerful. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Go ahead, Tony. Come on. Jump in. Jump in, Tony. Hard. Father, we pray for South Africa. This nation that has impacted people from all over the world. It is it has affected many of our lives, and we are so grateful for what has come out of South Africa. Father, we pray for peace and righteousness we pray for yeah. calm we pray for protection lord god we yeah. pray for those demonic spirits that have come to try and bring anarchy and chaos to be completely nullified and to be uh to be quelled lord jesus we pray for the calm peace and the serenity of heaven to come yeah. Yeah. father that is not Amen. weak that is something that is powerful and dynamic. And we just yes. release that over the nation of South Africa right now yes. in the name yes. of Jesus. Amen. Yes. yes. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Let's go ahead. Come on, guys. Let's just jump in. Don't, don't oh, yeah. Father, we just come before you and we declare to Chronicles yes. 714, Lord, that people will come to repentance and cry yes. out to yes. the living God. Yes. Father, transform hearts to 
and change lives, oh God. And we declare righteousness will exalt the nation of South Africa because Amen. sin is a reproach in yeah. Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. thank you. Father, we just thank you for South Africa. We thank you for the nation of South Africa. We yeah. thank you for the people of South Africa who have gone out overseas and have impacted our lives and, and, and laid down their lives for us so that we can see the gospel that came out of himself. We thank you for it, Lord Jesus. And tonight, Lord, we just stand shoulder to shoulder, even though we can't be on those lines, but we stand with the people of South Africa as they protect their lives, they protect their families, they protect it. And Lord, we just break the spirit of the yoke of bondage that's over the people there tonight. Say, this far and no further. We yes, push back yes. in the spirit yes. and bind it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you, Lord, that we can declare that your purposes will stand. Your purposes, your destiny for this country, Lord, will prevail and not the plans of the enemy. We thank you, God, for your dreams that you have for the people of this land and for the glory that will shine through them. We thank you, Lord, for unleashing of compassion, Father. Thank you for unleashing of compassion in this nation, Lord. And Father, that, that where the darkness comes, that light will shine even so much more brighter and father i thank you also for this hand of of that's trying to blind the the, the eyes and the understanding of people that that will be taken off lord so that people can see the truth lord this blindness we break that off in the name of jesus and we give clarity wisdom of revelation and insight over people we thank you Father, and we glorify your name so I just father I just pray that that veil of deception on the nation would be the curtain would be broken and, and the truth revealed of what is actually happening in the hearts of the masses Lord and there would be a rallying together in the spirit a rallying Amen. together natural and the physical realm that people would in one heart cry out to you for the, their deliverance and for you to come and set the nation free from a small group of very, very evil and deceptive people. Amen. Oh, Father, we just stand in agreement. We uh, thank you for the nation the earth. We agree with Lord, you. the fires burn, your glorious concern, the fires of revival. And we thank you, Jesus, as people have agreed with demonic plans and purposes and brought this destruction. We as your people agree with heaven for your yes. glorious rebuilding, your Amen. glorious restoration and the glorious revival of God. Amen. So we bless you, Father. We say thank you for your outpouring of your glorious Amen. spirit of our nation. Mm -hmm. What we see as ruins, Lord, in the natural are going to be the seeds of revival, Lord. They're going to transform Amen. this phenomenal nation into yes. being a powerhouse in the great world that we're living in. Jesus' name. Yes. Thank you, God. And Father, we thank you that you are our great resourcer. You are Jehovah Jireh. And Lord, we pray for that situation where there's no food and no resources. And in the name of Jesus, and because you are such a mighty God, Lord, tonight we ask that every place that needs food today, they would receive an abundance of what they need. That Lord, channels, roads would be opened, Lord. Uh, depots and um, uh, just those funnels, those places where food needs to be replenished. We thank you, Lord, that even if it's supernatural, you yes. will supernaturally resupply shops, resources, yes. farms, yes. whatever, whatever yes. is needed, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, yes. Lord. Yes. That is, so that is so powerful. Okay, yes. so just what we understand now that this is not unique to South Africa. There are things happening in the United States. There are violence across the earth. Um, there's, there's good revolutions and these bad ones, but the whole earth is shaking and God is, is going to benefit and redemptively out of all of this for the nations of the earth. Yeah. So I just, I just want us to go into about three or four minutes, petition prayer simultaneously together, right? Raising our voices together. Don't need to hear each other. God hears and mingles our faith together as it flows. I just, I don't want to be negative. Don't have a look at any of the DVDs or 
films taken by South Africans are what's going on. If you faint hearted, it's not a pretty sight. You'll see people dying. Uh, but I want to say to you this as well, that many cities have been totally leveled. There's nothing, everything's burnt. There's no nothing oh, sure. in there for any economic capacity. Millions of people will have lost their jobs now because of the destruction that lasted over a few days. And so we're going to go, hey, God raises the dead. God raises up the prophetic word that is in South Africa. Mm. The devil overplayed his hand, yeah. and now he's going to regret it because yeah. there's a resilience of the supernatural in South Africa. There are more believers that, per capita than I've ever seen anywhere, maybe somewhere else they are. And now revival is coming. And I believe that God will use nations to pour in wealth, resources. God's going to bless and restore healthy, godly government that cares for the people mm. and all kinds of community activities. we got people who couldn't be here tonight because they're on the streets. They're cleaning up cities. My city, where we grew up, it looks like a ghost town. It's smashed. It's hard to explain. Yeah. But we're going to lift our voices. And God, as he restored, mm. there will be streams in the desert. There will be flowers blooming. And there yeah. will be a new <laughs> order of Amen. grace and reconciliation and resolutions mm. that will make South Africa a, a, a kind of a prototype of a pattern of restoration. So all good is coming out of this. That's our goodness about God. Yeah. So let's lift our voices Thank together like Elijah God. and pray in English or Chinese or Afrikaans or Dutch yes. or whatever your language is, Zulu, you, whatever you want to pray. And let's pray for a mighty, mighty restoration in yes, South Africa. Thank you. Father, we lift our voices as... Dora <laughs> Sit here, Baba Sata Tatakariki, and I'm a city. 
Okay, thanks guys. Sorry to interrupt your prayers. Um, just our time, we've got 11 minutes. I know that um, we need to pray for other nations, but thank you so much for praying like this from many different nations for one nation. We bless you for that. Andre, uh, can we just... Uh, Did you want to say something? Just give a wave, Andre, because uh, you're, you're saying you want to say something to us. Put your hand up and wave it, Andre. And then... Where are you, Andre? <laughs> okay. Put on the whole maybe, thing. Maybe just go for it, Dad. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. Okay. Sorry, Andre. <laughs> it's just, um, there, are, there are nations now that are, uh, and, and again, please understand that as, as negative as all of this sounds, the world has been through birth pangs through centuries and millennia. God has always come through to a praying people. God has always turned things around for good. Mm. Great revivals have come out of great trauma and tragedy. So let's keep that in mind. Um, I, don't, I, I want to say this, that uh, right now there's so many nations that are in crisis, but I want to say that crisis is not permanent. If there's prayer, it will precipitate a turning back towards the creator of the heavens and the earth. Economies and blessing and favor must come because humility before God and deep acknowledgement of a shallow Christianity or an unbelieving system that is turned against God, mm. philosophies taught at schools, universities, and in economic contexts that, that speak like the heavens and the earth was an accident and there is no God. It's such foolishness to try to live life and have prosperous nations without a humility before the creator of the heavens and the yeah. earth. And the world is shaking now because of the absence of the Holy Spirit. Only in the absence of the power of the Spirit does the devil look good. But in the power of revival, the devil looks stupid and small and useless. Mm -hmm. He only gains uh, room when there's unbelief and secular humanism and Marxism and all kinds of isms in the nations of the earth that reject the living God. And we don't want governments to just control people. Yeah. We want liberty and freedom where people have the responsibility through their faith to honor God and mm -hmm. honor integrity and truth. Mm -hmm. So let's pray now for the nations. And I'm thinking of so many, Myanmar, India. It just goes on and on and on. Cuba is rising up and just nations of the earth that are going through stuff. Where's your, where's your, uh, Not all bad. There's a, there's, a, there's a breaking in of the kingdom that's unshakable. And we just pray, Father, that the people of the kingdom, the people who belong to true supernatural church, the kingdom will come in such a divine substance that people will mature into depths of relationship with you and honor for every local house across the earth and a commitment and a submission to worship together to the word being preached and to community and connections and love for one another across the earth. Let the church shine brightly, rise and shine for your light has come. In the time of yeah. deep darkness, his light comes to us and nations come to the light because there is no other options left. It's sad it has to come to this, but in this, the believers know we have been prepared for this for decades. We've been preparing, praying for years and years, studying the word, getting ready to handle pressure, hardships and difficulties. We are not runaway Christians, and South Africans have proved that in the face of violence and murder. Not because they, are, they not because of any racial issue, but because of the kingdom on the inside of people. That is, I'm so proud as a South African. It gives me such pleasure to see such unity of community across the races in yeah. South Africa, standing against an illegal minority. You have no legitimate case against heaven. It's an evil thing. So let's lift our voices in the spirit and pray in tongues for about four minutes. In, we saw it quickly. We broke through in tongues for South Africa. Don't underestimate what's going to happen. If you've got a nation in your heart, call it out to God while you're praying. But yeah. the Lord knows. Yeah. 
yeah. how to administrate grace into the nations of the yeah. earth for global revival. Yeah. So let's go for it right now. And the whole COVID. Yeah, and the whole COVID issue and everything that's going yeah. on. Okay, let's just go for that. Yes. Thank you. Thank let's you. One big more question. Guys, uh, it's such an honor to be a part of a prayer meeting with people like you that we have to try to stop praying. <laughs> yes. Most prayer meetings, the leader the South African sickle and sickle and sickle, struggle and struggle and struggle to get people motivated. This prayer meeting has a supernatural motivation because of the because of the kind of people that are here, and I, we don't want to waste an opportunity yeah. with so many amazing prayer people together. But um, hi, we we are we are basically out of time. But I believe. And I'll be talking to Dr. Lex, who's a top surgeon in Hong Kong in our church. He's, that on, we've been, he's on the prayer meeting now. That the COVID has not been good at all. It's a terrible thing. But in some ways, it's been a distraction from the other kind of evil of sickness and diseases. I don't know if you've noticed multiplication of people with cancer and sicknesses across the earth, diseases. That has been horrific. We've seen it here in Hong Kong as well. And so I want us to just take one minute in the spirit. To, and I felt this, I heard this audible voice this afternoon. I felt that like God would say, as we pray now, supernaturally, there's going to yes. be an explosion of yeah. instant healing and miracles of people around the earth that have been prayed for, but have not yet got healed. Seen the manifestation. That, that they yeah. received the healing by faith, but the manifestation is not there. Let's take one minute yes. and just see the spirit of infirmity shoved off. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Miracles and healings break yes. out across yes. this planet. Can we unmute just for a second? Uh, 30 seconds, one minute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah, that's what I want to talk about. <laughs> Can you guys all hear me? Hear us? Okay, well, again, um, for Glenn and I, I, I'm not being sentimental now, although I can't really be sentimental and emotional. Uh, but I'm, I, I just can't thank our Father enough that, that you've mm -hmm. come. And yes. many of you for six prayer meetings continuously, others uh, coming in and out. The world, is, the world is a busy place, and we are so appreciative for every one of you that have come to pray. And eternity will see great honor and rewards. Yeah. And also in this life, you're going to see transformation in nations. And that's, I know that God is multiplying prayer across the earth. I know from what Ryan Matthews has told me and many others that Zoom prayer meetings have been uh, escalated by thousands across yeah. South Africa. Thousands of prayer meetings. Zoom is a supernatural way where people can pray thousands of prayer meetings. And I yeah. believe this prayer meeting is also, these six prayer meetings have birthed inspiration yeah. and activation to many people who want to pray privately and spend some time fasting, they take a day or two to yeah. not eat and just pray. Um, this is a time of a prayer revival, but it will result in nations being blessed and transformed. So thank you, everybody. We don't know what to say. And we bless you. Yeah. Of course, we are open to somewhere down the road if God stirs it up um, to continue to pick it up again. But we didn't want to make it like this is going on indefinitely. We want to make we wanted to make it open ended. I have to admit, uh, this every second Thursday, yeah. this prayer meeting, I look Love forward it. to it. Yes. I look forward to it. I get excited. Thursday morning, butterflies in my stomach that we can pray with so many magnificent people who just make prayer so fast and so accelerated. I do believe God's and done exciting. in one hour what normally would take five hours. Think how awesome the prayer that's been mm -hmm. tonight. So thank you all. And um, we love you yeah. and say goodbye to you. And if you have any ideas or thoughts about future Seeds of Greatness prayer, then we're open to that. Yeah. We just want to be led by the Spirit. That's everyone is learning today. Do not manufacture Ishmael's. Do not try and artificially inseminate that which isn't the kingdom. Don't try and make things happen in the flesh. Be led by the Spirit. You are the sons and daughters of God. We are led by the Spirit. We are, have an inward witness of the Spirit. We know when to start something, when to stop something. When new things are breaking out, we can adjust quickly as we flexible to flow with the Spirit. Flexible but consistent and reliable. Being led by the Spirit is an irresponsibility. It is being supernatural, and the fruit will always show. So we love you and bless you. Please send us uh, through any kind of social media that you want. Just send us any ideas, thoughts, 
prophetic word or things that you feel about the future of this prayer meeting starting up again. Yeah. Um, so we wish you adieu. Yes. And we salute you. <laughs> and we thank you so much. Bless you guys. So wonderful Love to you. see all your faces. Some of us go back many decades and new friends as well. Love you all. Thank you for turning up. Mm. Bless you. Love you. See you. Bye. Bless you. Thank God. Blessings. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs>